You know, there comes a stage in your life where everybody has to start thinking about how we're going to live in retirement. It's so true. If you're a good saver and you've been pretty smart with your super, happy days. But the reality is you might need something extra like a smart property investment, even if you're an Olympic gold medalist like James Tompkins. And with interest rates at record lows, now could be the time to dip your toes into the water. There are some signs that the property market is starting to turn a corner. And with those signs come a whole heap of hopeful investors. Potential buyers are riding a wave of positivity since the federal election and cuts to official interest rates. I'm about to meet one couple keen to buy their first investment property. You may recognise James Tompkins. He was a member of the Awesome Foursome Olympic gold medal rowing team. We're getting a little bit older and uh, we've, been, we've owned our house for now 20 years so we're thinking it's probably time to look at some other investment opportunities and you know, property, everyone talks about property all of the time. James and his wife Bridget are looking at investing in property for the first time. Thinking maybe about something in Tasmania, either to buy a block of land or maybe to buy something established and even to maybe rent it out in the meantime, but then ultimately to maybe retire down there. What are the sorts of things that have led to you having the conversation about investing? You don't get much for your money sitting in a bank, do you? So it's got, you've got to put it to work somewhere, I think. And it's also nice to think that you've got something that's solid that you could potentially pass on to the children. It's just a bit more tangible. And you are both quite young to be talking about retirement. Do, do you worry at all about Not the as long young as you think. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but do you have concerns about what this means for the long term and, you know, if things go bad? Uh, yeah, of course. You've always got to think about the, the downside. And that's why getting good advice all the way through is so critical. That's where a mortgage broker like Will Uncles comes in. He helps first-time investors like Bridget and James make informed decisions. Trying to manage a rental property interstate can be challenging, but if you get a good property manager and good people around the property, you can certainly do it. Trying to build a property interstate is a whole new thing. I'd prefer them to probably look at something that's existing that they can get a return from straight away. So Will, have you noticed an increase in people being interested in investing in property this year? After the election, a slight rise, um, but I wouldn't say it's to levels that we saw probably a year, year and a half ago. So is it at all daunting to double down really in the property market and dive back in again? A big outlay of money here. Yes, it is daunting, absolutely. I mean, ultimately you've got to write that check to secure that bit of property. Um, but, you know, I think that if we look at the long-term outcomes then it, it all makes sense. And with the guidance of a financial advisor, then hopefully it will be all worthwhile in the long run. Oh, look, I love Will's advice there mm. because buying property, I think if you're not into shares or something and you're looking at it as an investment, it's the idea that you can drive past and see it. Yep. It is that sort of concrete being right there in front of you, whereas a piece of paper, and if you're buying into state, yes. really do you have that connection well, to that's, it? Well, that's so true. I think it is definitely going to be harder to build somewhere into state, you know, without being able to drop in and check on it from time to time. But I think the really interesting part here is how quickly everything's moving. We were talking a little earlier about just in the last month how far down some investor interest rates are going. So you can understand why James and Bridget there are thinking about this and why so many others are too. I hope they find somewhere cool. Me too. Yeah. <laughs>